Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. I am making this video to let everyone know that I will not be making daily videos for the next seven days. So I'm going on a trip and I won't have access to my computer or to be able to make recordings. So I just want to let you guys know. And also to let you guys know, don't give up on your daily reading just because I don't release a video. Um, my suggestion is if you are following this particular reading plan, the, um, reading the old Testament chronologically in 111 days, if you're following that, and if you're all caught up, then guess what? There's still so many more different reading plans you could read. There's still so much you could read on your own and so many different Bible studies you could do. Don't give up reading daily. Uh, just because um, I may not post a video. And this is a good advice for um, if anything ever happened to me. Never give up your daily Bible reading, no matter what the circumstance is, no matter what the situation is, no matter what you're going through, even if you're sick, even if you're depressed, even if you're tired, even if you're busy, read the Bible every day and be in prayer every day. And with that said, uh, I want to um, show you a few verses before I close this video. So 2 Timothy 2.15, one of my favorite verses, study. The Bible commands us to study, to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we ha see here a direct commandment to study the word. Um, and we could spend our entire life, so we'll never know everything in it. But, you know, we need to be in the word daily. Daily being in the word and studying it, not just reading it, studying it. So I also want to share with you Romans 12, 12. Uh, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Why am I showing you this first? Because this last part mainly, continuing instant prayer. Being instant in prayer. What does instant mean? Well, what does instant mean? It means to always be in prayer no matter what the circumstance is. Even if it's a prayer in your own mind, in your own head, or if you, you know, if you're alone talking out loud a quick prayer, it doesn't always have to be like an hour long prayer on your knees by your bedside or, you know, uh, you know, alone in your room somewhere. No, uh, I mean, yeah, it's good to set dedicated time for prayer. It is. But, you know, it says right here, continuing instant prayer, no matter what you're going through, instant prayer. Also, the rest of this verse, rejoicing hope, rejoice in hope. And then being patient in tribulation. Yeah, tribulation does not feel good at all to anyone. We've all go gone through it. We're going to go through it. Uh, we need to be patient and rely and trust only in the Lord God. So, and one more verse I want to share with you. I want to read for you Philippians 4 all the way through 9, because it's just amazing verses. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. You know, a lot of us Christians today forget about, you know, rejoicing to God, giving God praise and worship. That's a big part of, you know, being in the Word, being in prayer, giving God glory. This is part of it, rejoicing. And then the next verse, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. And then one of my favorite verses, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So this is a great verse if you're going through stuff and you have no idea what to do. The Bible says right here, be careful for nothing. What does that mean? Be careful for nothing. Do not worry about anything, right? But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. You see how it says with? It's one thing to pray and to, you know, uh, put have your supplications before God. But it's with thanksgiving, right? You can't forget to give thanksgiving to God. When we pray, we always must thank God for things, not just, you know, give him a, a wish list of, you know, prayer requests. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And then, you know, the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yeah, I've experienced this. It's so weird. You know, sometimes when I'm in prayer, well, actually all the time when I'm in prayer, I feel better. I always feel better after praying. I always feel better after reading the Bible. There's a clear-cut difference in my uh, attitude and in how I feel after I pray and after I read. So there is something to it and it's amazing. So pray, read the Bible daily. All right, one more verse here, or actually two more. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, 
whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. Do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Yeah. I like that. You know, he's saying here, this is Paul, by the way. Uh, he's saying here, do. If you've learned things from other people, from other Christians, if you learn things by yourself reading the Bible, received it, heard it, seen in, uh, in other people, do. Do like what they do, you know. Be a true Christian, a Christ, Christ follower, little Christ. And, um, you know, do. So, that's where I'm going to leave it for this. I guess technically this is Bible reading, so <laughs> this is, you're not missing a day here. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that, yeah, I won't be able to do the uh, proper reading plan chronologically through the Old Testament in 111 days, uh, but we are going to finish it. I promise you that, God willingly, that is. We are going to finish it, God willingly, uh, but there is going to be a break. So, I just want to let you guys know one more time, don't give up on your Bible reading just because I don't post a video or if anything happened to me. Don't give up. There's so many Bible reading plans. You can do it. Stay encouraged. Motivate yourself if you have to. Read the Bible daily. Be in the Word daily. Be in prayer daily. So, I just want to say thank you for uh, watching my videos, for listening to my videos. I hope it helps people some way, somehow, maybe following along with me as I read. But uh, the fact of the matter is, we need to be in the Bible daily. And it doesn't matter how you do it. I don't care if you know people don't want to listen to me or don't want to watch my videos. All I care about is um, reading the Bible and helping people if I can in some way, shape, or form. So, remember to read, remember to study the Bible. Be in the Word daily. And God willingly, we'll see you um, in a week with more of our Bible study, our Bible reading plan of chronologically through the Old Testament in 111 days. So thanks again, and God bless. Take care. So we'll see you later. Bye-bye.